Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Alright, so here he is, the soldier of God, Olympic silver medalist, Yoel Romero. It's amazing to think he hasn't had a UFC belt around his waist. Most people think, or I should say some people think he did enough to beat Robert Whitaker back in the day, but this is still one of the best middleweights on planet. He's one of the most naturally talented guys that I've ever met. From the moment I met him back in the wrestling days, way back around 2001, you understood that you were looking at something special in Yoel Romero. And although he started his career very late, I knew that he would get to this point. Now that he has developed that quick knockout ability, couple that with his wrestling, and you have one of the perennial middleweight top contenders. Hard to find a lot of glaring weaknesses when you study the film on Yoel Romero. Some might knock the cardio, but seems to get his breathers in there in a 25-minute fight. And you've heard past opponents like Luke Rocco, Robert Whitaker talk about literally kicking stone. a man of steel. He's stone. Yoel Romero, folks, here he is. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling is takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Romero is 12 years his senior. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. And with the official Ladies introductions, here is the veteran is voice of the octagon, the Bruce Buck. Event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 13 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Yoel, Soldier of God, Romero. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we've seen on film. Guys in their UFC careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key match. They're certainly getting after it early. Watch the shot to the body. range with that one. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. 
Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Big punch land. And they separate. Oh, nice right hand. Just over three minutes to go. If at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All oh, the ground-and-pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop the He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Romero. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Round two straight ahead. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, round two. Good stick. Oh, nice. Like he might have landed there instead, a swing and a miss. That one appeared to stun him. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no free feet. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. The Olympic silver medalist Romero gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. He's just out of range with that right hook. Lands the right hand. strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Switch knee lands to the body. Oh, big head kick lands. Oh, good kicks. What a 
punch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Beautiful kick. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you gotta wonder to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Big shot land. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, no wasted motion there. Romero loads up on the right hand and finds the target. I mean, you watch him. He's knocked out some of the greatest middleweights of all time. Luke Rockwell, Chris Weidman. He's put guys to sleep in a variety of ways, and tonight he does it again. Oh, nice jab. Nice liver shot lands. Fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Under two minutes now to go. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Scramble, scramble, scramble. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Pretty good right hand. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Romero. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so somehow, some way, we will fight onward. There was a big liver shot there that buckled his opponent. DC, here's your replay. Nothing is worse. Nothing is worse than taking one of those shots right to the liver. It shuts everything down. You got to be so tough to stay standing after you take a strike like that. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight! Beautiful hit kick. Oh, well, 
you know about his kicks, they are on point this evening. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Nice job by Romero there on the feet, not only sticking, but moving to avoid the counterattack coming back. It's the head movement. It's the athleticism of Yoel Romero that allows him to be standing there flat-footed and just get out of the way whenever you try to hit him. He's always been a phenomenal athlete, and he continues to be that even as he oh. sees. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called a stop for this contest at one minute of round number four. Going the winner by knockout, Yoel, soldier of God, Romero. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon. Knockout a man.